Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 19th of February to the 23rd of February 2018. As always, we're going to start off by having a look at the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of different markets, looking at the key areas of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also for the weeks ahead. So I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index now, last week we were sitting above the key area of the 90.16 over here and we said as we started the week above here we were looking for further moves up. However, you can see these again as I mentioned many times, we do use these levels both ways. And in fact, we started to break down below the key area of the 90.16. We came down to the next area, pulled back and then we broke all the way through down towards this support area down here. Now we currently sit between this key area of support the 88.46 and this key area of resistance. We're, go, we're in a bit of a range territory here in the US dollar index. Very simply put, what we're going to be looking for next week is a correction and a pullback, preferably a retest of broken support over here turning resistance. And if we get this, we're going to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get bearish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to start to look for further declines in the US dollar index to the downside. First of all, back to the range bottom and target one, the key area of support at the 88.46. And if we can get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 87.69. Now, because we're looking for a pullback and then a test of the bottom of the range, we go into next week with a kind of neutral outlook on the US dollar index. And so we're prepared to trade the rest of the US dollar pairs on their own merit without a strong US dollar bias one way or the other. Next we have crude oil. Now last week we started the week having broken down below the key area of support at 61.93 down in this area and what we said was we we're looking for a pullback and a correction to take place and a retest of broken support turning resistance. Okay, and these are quite big retracements as well. So for those of you who like to trade counter trend trades, you can trade these counter trend as well on the pullbacks to these levels. But just bear in mind, they are more risky than trading in the overall direction as with the trend. Now, we've had this pullback and we pretty much spent all last week pulling back into this key area of support broken over here, turning resistance. And we are now going to go into next week looking for bearish formations and patterns to form. You can see we're already starting to get a rejection from this area. And if we can get those patterns forming in this area and we can get some more confirmation that we're going to reverse at this point, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts. First of all, down towards the next key area of support to the downside at 57.25. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards target two and the next key area of support to the downside at the 55.88. So the first pair we have is the euro dollar. Now, last week we were sitting underneath here just inversely really to what we were looking at in the US dollar index. And again, as you can see, we had a failure as it pulled back. We were looking for a pullback right? and we were looking for bearish formations of patterns in this area, but we didn't get that. You can see it came straight through and instead started to pull back, tested broken resistance of support, and it made its way all the way up to the next key area of resistance to the upside. And you can see we actually sold off quite heavily from this last week. So very simply put, you can see we're too close now to this resistance level uh, to take an opportunity here. But what we'd like to see is possibly another test and a pullback down towards the next key area of support down here. And if we can get this pullback, this is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking back up to the next key area of resistance, the upside in the top again, starting to form a bit of a range. The 1.25026. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up to the next key area of resistance, the upside and target two, the 1.26060. Next, we have pound dollar. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback and a test of broken support over in this area. You can see it tested resistance once and we were looking for a second test of resistance before further declines to the downside. We did get the pullback. OK, but when we got to the resistance, you can see we went straight through it and we've come back to test the other side of this now as support. So very simply put, going into next week, this is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those patterns, we're going to be looking at initiating longs. As long as we can stay above the 1.4007 area of support, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next target and next key area of resistance, the upside at the 1.4337. 
Next, we have the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we declined in, we were expecting declines in the US dollar yen, and we did actually decline taking out both targets to the downside in the US dollar yen. And we actually came very, very close to the next key area of support. Pretty much, I mean, arguably you could have filled this support area down here at the 105.489. So there's clearly no opportunity really to trade this into the 105.489. So what we would like to see first of all is a pullback and possibly even a retest if any pullback in this area would be great but if we can get a pullback and a retest of previous support broken turning resistance at the 107.391 this will be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and if we get those we're going to be looking first of all down towards the next key area of support to the downside this kind of uh, near the bottom over here at the 105.489 but ultimately if we can get a break through this key area of support we're going to be looking for the next target to the downside the next key area of support at the 104.236 now we can also trade this if we just simply get a break through here like this we'll be looking for a pullback and a test of broken support turning resistance and this will be the area we start to look for bearish formations and patterns down towards the next key area of support Next, we have the Aussie dollar. Now, last week, we started the week down in this area, very close towards the next key of support to the downside. And what we said was we were looking for a pullback and we were looking for this move. OK, back up to test broken support as a resistance area. We actually came through this resistance area and it was a second resistance area to the upside, quite close, actually, to the first one. Uh, not a huge gap between the two of them. And it was here which tested twice as resistance before breaking to the downside. Now, very simply put, now we've had this pullback and we've had a test of resistance, albeit the one slightly higher. What I'd like to see really going into next week is further declines in the Aussie first, just to make sure it really has cleared this as support. And then if we can get a pullback and a test of broken support in this case, so resistance going up, support, broken support testers resistance this would be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to start looking now down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target one at 0 0.77330 and of course if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking even further down to the next key area of support to the downside and target two at 0 0.76341 Next, we have the New Zealand dollar. Now, last week, we started down below the key area of support broken over here at 0.72860. And we were looking for a pullback and a test as resistance. So you can see we did get that, but we actually ended up breaking through resistance and coming back and testing the support before moving all the way up to the next key area of resistance at 0.74314. Now, we're going to next week sitting at this key area of resistance. What we would like to see ideally is a pullback, possibly even a retest of support level over here at the 0 0.72860 but any pullback in this area a deeper pullback to get a good run up and good risk to reward to the upside would be great now if we get this pullback we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking up towards again the first key area resistance at 0 0.74314 and potentially going into a bit of a range like this but if we can get a break through this key area resistance either like this or if we come down first and then get a breakthrough, we will be looking up towards the next key area resistance to the upside at the 0 0.74825. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, since we bounced from the key area support at 0 0.92698 over here, we were looking for a pullback up towards the next key area of resistance, a so broken support turning resistance over here. And we actually traded this in the live rooms to the upside as well. And we did come back and test this key area of resistance 0 0.94380. And we started last week having sold off from here. Now, what we said was we were looking for further declines, first of all, down to the bottom. And you can see we did actually come down and take out the first target from last week. And we did, in fact, get a break through here. And we have now come back to test this area as broken support turning resistance. So very simply put, going into this week, this is a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns again and we're going to be looking potentially at initiating shorts as long as we can stay down below this key area of resistance over here now we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the next key area of support and target two from last week at 0 0.91641 and if we can get a break through here like we did over here then we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 0 0.90765 Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week we started the week up in this area and we said we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance over here turning support. And that is exactly what we had from last week. And we actually started to bounce from this key area of support down here at the 1.24608. Now, going into this week, if we get some more correction down towards and possibly even another retest of broken resistance over here turning support, 
this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking first of all up to the key area resistance to the upside, as you can see, tagged twice over here at the 1.26325. And ultimately, if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking for a continuation up towards the next key area resistance to the upside, at the 1.27726. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week we started below this key area of support broken. We were in this area and we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance. And we did actually get this. However, as you can see, similar to the euro, uh, we did break through here and we came back to test it once, twice before moving up towards the next key area of resistance. We actually broke through this key area of resistance before coming back and testing it as support late last week. So very simply put in gold, we're just simply looking at this area right here to see if we can get some bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside and target one at the 1367.31. And if we get a break through here, just as we did over here with this resistance area, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area resistance to the upside and target two at the 1375.27. So that is it for me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis and also those of you who have subscribed so far. A huge thank you to all of you, by the way, who voted for us in the FX Street Best Awards. Unfortunately, we just missed out on the top spot to a group of traders. So it was a very stiff competition uh, and congratulations to them. Just remember that it is a long weekend in the US and we do have a bank holiday in the US on Monday. So there's likely to be a lack of volatility as the US banks are off. So with that, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic week and I hope you enjoy the rest of the weekend. I hope you all have a profitable week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.